So here we have a new 2024 Genesis GV60. This one comes in the performance trim level. It's a vial silver. And then we do have obsidian black Napa leather interior. For the powertrain, we have a 160 kilowatt motor on each axle, made it to a 77.4 kilowatt hour battery. Gets us a max range of 235 miles per charge. And just can't wait to check this thing out. As we get around to the front end here, we get these LED headlamps along with LED daytime running lights. It's kind of all like one big beam there. Love how they did that. Just a very, very nice looking car. Pretty much like all the other Genesis, so not surprised there. Now what is impressive is these wheels here. These are actually 21 inch alloy wheels and I'm sure that has something to do with the lower range. And with this would mean the performance model, I'm not really concerned about that. Most people probably won't be. But passive keyless entry on the front two doors. Over here, power window controls, power door locks. We have electronic tile lock and rear window locks here. Memory seat functions here. Just hold either one to set that. Power mirror controls are here. You can pick a side and it actually lights up for either side. And you can adjust using the dial on the side and then you can just click this middle button to fold in the mirrors. And those do auto dim and you also have blind spot monitors in those. Get a banging Allison sound system, which I tested out, phenomenal. No surprise there. We do get a power tilt and telescoping steering wheel and then a very adjustable front driver's seat. So we have our leg support there, thigh support, all of that. And then we even have the, the ergo seat that we can get going as well. But a big shout out to Genesis of Cool Springs for allowing me to review this car today. I'll leave a link below in the description. I'm just gonna show the total price, 71,660 is what this sticker's for. But I have the seat up front adjusted for someone of my size being 6'3 in my driving position. So we do have the blinds back here, which is nice. And then three stage, three stage heated outboard seats here as well. Let's go ahead and hop in here. So actually the room back here is pretty impressive in my opinion, just for this, for something that looks this small, I'm impressed with how much space I have back here. Much more than my old Model 3 I used to have. But seat back pockets are on both sides. Love the storage compartment down there that's netted, tons of space there. Two USB-C charge ports. And then we can adjust this seat from the back here if you want to. And then this middle seat folds down, bottle holders are here. But I wanna discuss the difference in how you can set this rear seat up. So that's with the seat all the way up and that's with it all the way back. So a huge difference in how you can adjust that seat. Let's go ahead and make our way towards the back. And at first I wasn't sure about the back end of these, but now that I'm seeing it in person, I, I love just the overall concept here. Like I said, the other Genesis vehicles are no different. They just look beautiful inside and out. Now I had to get uh, some plastic off of this. It took me a long time. Let me say these come from Korea and they make sure that there's no opportunity for important stuff to get scratched up because it took me a good five, 10 minutes to take all the plastic off the seats, the door panels, everything. But good space back here in my opinion and then we have the integrated cargo shade here if we want to use that but again for such a small vehicle at least that's just how it looks that's the kind of presence it gives i'm surprised with the amount of space you have and honestly now that i look at it, it's really not that small it just again has that presence so But there's our charge port there. Now we do have DC fast charging capability and we get that 800 volt system so we can get up to 350 kilowatts in terms of the charge speed. And I like how that handle is too. It's nice and fancy. You don't have to push it or anything like that and it just folds out and in seamlessly. Now if you want to fold the seats down, pull up here, very easy to do. And then you have that available and then you just want to hold that handle 
and then push up to get it back into place. And then to our front passenger seat, I love how it does this. So when you get in here, if you've moved the seat up at all, it'll scoot itself back. And there's that seat there. And this glove compartment is so cool. So most of the times you're used to the thing popping down, but as you can see, when I pull here, it just slides out like a tray. So I love, love how they did that. Now, as we come back around to the front end, we don't have a traditional engine up here. So we're gonna see what's underneath. So basically just where the front motor is mounted. I do like that you can see a lot in here though. If you wanna fill up your washer fluid or anything like that. But let's go ahead and hop in the driver's seat. So leather wrap steering wheel here. Let's listen to this horn. So a pretty good sound. Now over here to the navigation system, we do have AM, FM, XM, Bluetooth, wired CarPlay and wired Android Auto with that. And if you do want to type in a destination, pretty easy to do as well. And then you have different things that you can pull up, points of interest, things of that nature. You have a voice memo option. Climate controls can be pulled up there. Just a lot that you can do in the typical Genesis, what you'd expect there. Pretty much the same setup in terms of the radio. And then in here, you can mess with your vehicle settings for driver assistance. Go over here to the EV and you can set your maximum charge with your DC fast charging or if you're at home. And then your sound, everything can be adjusted here again. Just nice very easy to use and then you can change your language here you can change your units here then date and time if you want to set that automatically you can do that now backup cameras there the guidelines do follow you as you turn the steering wheel and you have that bird's eye view too and down here we have our dual zone automatic climate controls we can toggle the heat there auto we can set that adjust temperature defrosters and then for the fan speed you just click there and then you have your shortcuts down here for the map navigation media favorites button there set up shortcut there hazards are here i'm going to adjust the brightness so you can actually see that a little better and then down here we have two usb-c ports one of them is for the apple carplay android auto the other one's just for charging and you have a 12 volt down in there and then a little storage compartment there, pretty interesting. And then there's a big pocket down there too. What I do like is underneath here, you also have, there's just tons of space here. You can put a purse here if you want to, or a small bag, and then you could have other stuff that maybe some lotion or whatever in here. And then you have that hidden compartment there that most people wouldn't see anyway. Bottle holders are here. Now this is your fingerprint sensor. Volume can be adjusted here, tune knob. And then you can actually click that to turn the source, turn the audio source off, excuse me. And then you have shortcuts here for the home menu back. And then you can use this to go through the radio if you want this knob here, which is actually pretty easy to use. And then for the shifter, pull for drive, tap for neutral, pull all the way for reverse, press P for park. We do get three stage heated cool front seats, heated steering wheel toggle, automatic brake hold, hit this camera button. And you have that front camera there, parking sensors. And then we do have a wireless charging pad in here, storage there. And with the roof, it is a panoramic sunroof. And that just opens a shade there. Very interesting. But there's a look at the back seat from up here. That actually looks like it's kind of blocking the sun, but I think it's just where it's so cloudy outside. But I like how it closes. That's kind of growing on me. And there are the lights there, very nice. Just a nice, elegant feel in here. Sunglasses holder. And what these are known for, I think, is this, 
the brushed aluminum throughout and I'm feeling it. I really am. Now, left side stock here, blinkers. Now, your high beams can be toggled there. And then when you're in auto mode, you can turn the auto high beams on there. Then you can turn all the lights off if you want to. And then over to the right side, we do have automatic wipers. So that's one time off, auto, low, high. And then we can adjust the auto sensitivity here. And then pull up here for that front wiper fluid. Now we can decide what kind of regenerative braking we want by using these paddle shifters behind the steering wheel so I can decrease the, the sting there to just basically have it off or I can almost make it a one pedal drive by turning that eye pedal on here, maxing it out on this side. Now to the buttons here, we do have adaptive cruise, of course, smart cruise, so we can adjust the gap for that. We have the lane centering that we can toggle there. We can adjust the speed and then we can set up a custom button that go along with the favorites button here and it'll let you decide what you want when you hit the button right there. And then here we can adjust the, the gauge cluster there. Just a few settings, but volume can be adjusted here. We can go through our radio station presets or track list favorites there. And you can click that for mute, which is nice. Voice recognition, phone, and then if you hit this button here, we can go through our audio sources. Now these are pretty important. These control your drive mode, so eco, comfort, sport, and then you can hit this boost button that gives you kind of max power output when applicable. So I've tested it out already. It's pretty great. Then our heads up display, if I can zoom in there, it's right there. Then our push button start. And a very cool key fob here. All the buttons on the side. If you want to pull the car in or out of a parking spot that's tight. Just looks really nice. But next, let's go ahead and take this Genesis GV60 Performance out on the road for a test drive.